Hello everybody, Kew up here, and welcome to another Destiny 2 video. In today's video, it's going to be a little bit of a different one, because I'm not going to be covering any PvP in this video, which is very different for a video on my channel. The topic of this video is going to be more about gear acquisition and the PvE method to do that, and the gear in specific is the new exotics with Beyond Light. And I'll be talking about how you get these new exotics, going through the PvE content that you have to play through to get it. And then at the end I will talk about why I don't like this and why I think it was a mistake. So if you're looking just for the answer of how do I get the new exotic armor, the answer is Legendary in Master Difficulty Lost Sectors. And that's going to be the only way that you can acquire the new Beyond Light exotic armor, at least for this season I believe. So let's talk about these Legendary and Master Lost Sectors because you may be unfamiliar with how they work because they're a pretty new part of the game. And a lot of you probably haven't gone into them yet. And part of that is because you actually have to do some stuff for them to show up. So let me talk about how you get them to show up initially. So these are 1250 and 1280 light activities. And to get them to show up, you have to be 1200 power, which is past soft cap. And you have to have completed the lost sectors that it is for that day. Because there's going to be two lost sectors every day that are active for the legendary and master difficulties respectively, and you have to have completed that Lost Sector in specific for it to show up for you. So once you reach 1200 power, I would recommend doing all of the Lost Sectors on the Cosmodrome and on Europa, because I think those are the only Lost Sectors that are in the rotation for these difficulties, but correct me if I'm wrong, however I think it's really just the Cosmodrome and Europa for these extra difficulty Lost Sectors that give you the exotics. So let's talk a little bit more about how they work. What you can expect to see is that they'll have extra shields, there will be match game, your equipment will be locked once you start the activity. If it's master difficulty, they'll have extra champions. You can expect to see two types of champions when you're in there, usually barrier and overload. There will be a modifier for the race, there will be a modifier for the destination, and there will be a burn. So some examples of this are that the Vex modifier, Shocker, I think they drop like a pool of arc energy when they die. And then for Arak No, Vandals drop like a stunning, slowing ball when they die. And then the Decimation modifier for like Europa is Memory of a Frozen Conundrum. I think that's like extra arc damage, maybe aerial damage as well. But I'm just going off memory for that. I couldn't see the description of it, so I'm not positive. But I can tell you that like the burns, like Forlorn Miasma is void damage, Isolated Flames is solar, then whatever the last one is, is arc. And those are fairly significant burns. I forget the percentage, it might be up to 50%, but it makes your weapons a lot stronger, so make sure to spec into the burn. But the damage incoming is also very heavy, so you have to be weary of that. Now, let's talk about the reward structure of each of these. For each difficulty, they will have a certain slot of armor that will be rewarded to you at a certain rarity. So, for example, the legendary Lost Sector for this day, if you're solo, will give you an exotic chest armor, and this will happen rarely. So I think rare means like 25%, I could be wrong about that, I'm just going off of what I think I remember. Because for Legendary Lost Sectors, it says rare for the exotic quality if you're going solo. And then it's common for the Master difficulty, which I think is like 75%. And then for Enhancement Cores, it's uncommon for Legendary Lost Sectors, and also uncommon for Master Lost Sectors. So that's how the reward structure works. However, you have to keep in mind that is if you are playing it solo. If you play it in a group, your chances go way down. I think it's like... 5% or less, maybe even 1% to get an exotic to drop for you if you're doing it in a group, so it's really quite pointless if you try to do it with more people. So that means you have this very challenging content that is also extremely high light, and it's the only way to unlock the new exotics. Now this is something that I really don't like, because I think you're building up a lot of barriers to certain players and how they can get the exotics. First off, let's talk about timing. The Legend Lost Sector is 1250 power, which is pretty damn high. That is hard cap right there. And it's going to take heavy grinders probably one, two weeks, maybe three, to reach that 1250 if they're playing a lot. And the attempts that I'm showing you in the background on the Cosmodrome one, I was 35 power under at like 1215. And that was after at least 20 hours of playing the game probably closer to 30, and then when I show you the Europa Lost Sector on like 25 light levels underneath, 
and that was probably closer to like 40 hours of playtime. So that's the time commitment to just be able to even really play the content to get the new exotics, and you're gonna be at a heavy disadvantage doing very hard content that only rewards you 25% of the time, maybe less. And if you don't get an exotic on that drop, your rewards are really quite useless. It's like an enhancement core every couple runs. Like, I've been fairly unlucky, but I think I've done a total of maybe 12 clears of the Legendary Lost Sector. And I've yet to get an exotic, and I've gotten maybe like 3-4 enhancement cores and 2 weapons. Which is really just an atrocious return on investment. And it was pretty frustrating too, because I was getting one shot by champions, by bosses. And this type of content is not for everyone. For casual players, it's going to be a really long time before they get up to 1250 or even close to it. And even then, they might not be very comfortable with champion level content. And if they want to get the exotics, they basically have to experience it alone. So it discourages cooperation and playing with friends and the social aspect of Destiny, which is very odd. And it's going to make for a pretty frustrating experience for those players and even players that are a bit more experienced. Because your odds aren't great for doing this very challenging activity. So they're going to be frustrated while they're playing, and then majority of the time they're not going to get anything good when they finish it. So this could very well lead to a lot of players just giving up. So what does all this really mean? It means that most people are not going to get these new exotics for several weeks after release until they're high enough power level to play these lost sectors and they have to play them alone so that it's not going to be a social thing, it's not going to be something they can grind with friends or find people on LFG, which is usually something that helps players a lot in Destiny. And so since you have to do this hard solo content to get the new exotics, a lot of casual players are probably never going to get them. And that's not what you want. They spent their $40 on this expansion as well, and they were probably really looking forward to playing with some of these exotics. Plus, some of these exotics are very good, and they will only be in the hands of the best players because the best players are going to be the ones that are capable of getting these early. Like, the two Hunter exotics I think are amazing, then the Warlock Gauntlets are pretty good, and the Titan Helmet is situational but can be good in those situations. Warlock Helmet, Titan Gauntlets, pretty underwhelming. But most people aren't going to be able to experience those things for weeks to months, and maybe even longer. So I think this was a really big mistake in structuring the exotic selection this way, especially because this is the only new exotic armor that we've gotten in over a year, because the last exotic armor that we got was Shadowkeep, right? And that stuff was fairly easy to acquire, all you had to do was finish the campaign. So they went a very different route this time, and I don't think it was a smart one. I think it has a bit of a damaging impact on most casual players, and even the average player, and pretty intense players even, too. So if you want to get these exotics in a timely manner, and without going insane, you're probably going to want to wait until you're like 1250 power, which could be in a couple weeks. Or more, or less, I don't know how much you grind. But getting these like week one, even after spending an extreme amount of time playing, is going to be pretty challenging. But that's going to be just about everything I have to say for the video. If you want me to make guides on how to do these Lost Sectors better, especially under leveled, that is something I could do, because I do have some experience playing this content, and finding the right loadouts to balance with the modifiers can be a little bit challenging. But if you paid attention to what I use in this video, especially on Europa, that's probably a good thing to uh, go off of. Alright, I'm going to end the video there. Make sure to drop a comment letting me know if this was helpful and if you like seeing any PvE stuff from me. Also, if you're a PvP player, make sure to subscribe if you haven't, because that is what my usual content is. And just feel free to give me any feedback that you have. Thanks for watching the video, and see you later. You should definitely get Cold War though. Or we're definitely going to do the zombies easter egg. Dude, that run wasn't even that bad, except for missing my nade on that overload captain Dude, so many times. Crazy. How many, like, it's kind of crazy how many, like, like how many, like, it's crazy. Oh, <laughs> Bro, get it out. <laughs> Holy balls, dude. Is it really that crazy? <laughs>